In this diagram, we see a pair of hosts, each with their unique IP address. To simplify the discussion, only their last IP address octet will be used. Before the client actually receives data, in this case a web page from the server, a TCP three-way handshake must first be successfully exchanged between the host pair. The action of the user typing in a URL in the web browser is all it takes for the standard procedure to initiate. After the client has resolved the server host name to an IP address, the client, as seen in step one, will then send out into the network the first leg of the handshake, the initial SYN. In this initial SYN, the IP addressing properties contain the client source and server destination. Further, the TCP addressing properties contain a client ephemeral source port, randomized for uniqueness as described in the RFC number 793, and the default service port for the HTTP protocol, port 80. Should the initial SYN be successfully received by the destination server, the server will respond, as seen in step 2, by sending out the second leg of the TCP three-way handshake, the SYN ACK. Notice the TCP and IP addressing properties contained in the SYNAC are essentially reversed, with the source IP address and TCP port now set as the destination addressing scheme. Should this server sourced SYNAC make its way back to the original client successfully, the client, as seen in step 3, initiates and sends the third and final leg of the TCP three way handshake, the closing ACK. Notice that the closing ACK contains the same TCP and IP addressing scheme as was used in the initial SYN. When the server receives the ACK from the client, this specific HTTP protocol TCP IP connection, also known as a TCP session, will be maintained until its termination. The TCP three-way handshake is a critical aspect of most TCP IP communications, regardless of the upper and lower level protocols in use whether it's HTTP, SIFS, or FTP at the top, and gigabit, or Wi-Fi at the bottom, you can expect the TCP three-way handshake to be in there always. Finally, this topic is paramount in learning how to successfully deploy and troubleshoot the Riverbed Steelhead products. For more details on the TCP three-way handshake, be sure to take a look at RFC 793. For more details on how the TCP three-way handshake is integral into your steelhead skills, be sure to watch more videos in Riverbed University on-demand training. Thanks for watching.